As I told you guys in my last q and I was going to do a month-long unboxing of birthday hauls. So we're going to start with Chanel. I haven't worn this beautiful choker in so long, so I felt like I had to go ahead and wear it. Okay, let's show you what I got. So the first thing I got is from this store here called Mocha Studio. It's a Canadian store, so happy to support a small business in Canada. It is actually one of my friend's stores, so she just launched all of these new sunglasses and she sent me a bunch of clothes as well so we're gonna do a little bit of a styling haul in this video they come packaged like this in a beautiful white box and I got four pairs of sunglasses each pair of glasses comes in the white box the um, I guess the sunglass case as well as one of these and a little care card and by the way this store is in Ontario so if you're in the Toronto area you can even drop by their physical store I think to check out their stuff because everything I got is so super cute. This first pair is called the Billy which is a short angular style. So let me try it on for you guys. They're so light and cool. You can wear it a little higher or a little bit lower. So these glasses are 72 Canadian dollars. They're made of thermal plastic, UV 400 lenses. They are polarized. And thermal plastic is a hypoallergenic material as well as a lighter material than acetate, which is true because they're very, very comfortable. And they suit me so well because as you guys know, Asian faces have a flatter profile, so they don't have a ton of nose bridge, but they are they are so perfect on me guys i love it so this is the first pair so that's the side of the first pair and that's the front this one is the bobby i'm looking at my viewfinder and it's blue so i feel like this whole polarizing thing is really working or these 400 uv lens i feel like this would be perfect to wear with like a dressy kind of very feminine outfit okay, up next we have these super cool ones these ones actually remind me of the gentle monsters that i have also these are called the share and they are the large rectangular style which have to agree i mean you can wear higher lower and it just covers a lot of area so on a really sunny day these are perfect for the summer love 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 them they are so cool i tried the bobby earlier and these ones are the abby and these ones are the ones that actually had a white color super impressed with all the designs they're so comfortable and so lightweight and really really nice and fits so well that is the most important fits so well and so comfortable so anyway if you guys want to check out the mocha studio store use code amy 15 yt you can save 15 percent at checkout up next we have some clothing what i'm wearing which is a cute little crop t-shirt your everyday basics i love a good crop t-shirt especially like a crisp white one or a black one because they go so well with high-waisted jeans and high-waisted pants and I must say the finishing and the details on these garments are so luxurious I'm really impressed by the curation that my friend has done with her store so this is the crop version if you don't like a crop version you can also go for their everyday tee so this is more of a regular fit and this one is also $28, also 100% cotton. What kinds of t-shirts which are just like white t-shirt or black t-shirt are just your everyday perfect basics to layer underneath, especially with the fall winter. I was really excited about this pleated skirt. It's so beautiful, you guys definitely need to get this piece. I'm not even joking. It even goes well with this crop t-shirt, which is so, so funny because you can definitely dress this up or dress it down. The best part about this one, which has been basically a secret of mine on how to find skirts that are super comfortable that you can eat in them is to find the ones that are elasticated at the waist so this one is elasticated it has a beautiful fabric gorgeous neutral color this is an extra small so all of the stuff that i'm showing you are in extra small size just for size reference unless it only comes in one size then of course it's the one size fits all but this one is in extra small and it has a really good elastic. This jacket is giving me Celine vibes, don't you guys think? Tweed jacket with a wool blend material. These buttons are so cool. Really beautiful, fully lined inside and the sleeves also has a few buttons as well. Yep, they are real pockets so 
really really impressed by the quality of this and the stripes detail this one is in a size small so this one is their linen short sleeve jacket this one is unlined but it's super well finished as you can see and it's a linen uh, blend fabric so it's nice and cool for even right now the linen jacket is uh, one size fits all and it's 78 dollars this one is their wide leg pants it has belt loops which are perfect slightly pleated in the front it's high-waisted has side pockets the back is the fun part because it has these hidden elastics so you can definitely eat i love clothes that allows you to eat this is what i do whenever i discover new brands i always try to order their classics especially when it comes to pants because when the pant is done really well if it's well tailored if it's fitted and if the fabric is not staticky static is my worst pet peeve which i cannot stand it comes down to the materials that they use and i'm happy to inform that this one did pass my test and last but not least we have these cute denim pants the size is a tiny bit small on me i'll still try to model it because it is so cute. I love the crop style. I love the two pockets in front. The denim is so soft. It has a nice stretch. So anyways, if you guys are interested in checking out Mocha Studio, do use my coupon AMY15YT to save 15%. And if you guys do, please let me know what you're eyeing. Are you eyeing the sunglasses or the clothes? Either way, thank you to my friend for sending me these beautiful things for my birthday. Yes, I know it's been a while since I've done a Chanel unboxing. Part of the reason is no longer have an essay at Chanel and so anything that I was interested in getting, I couldn't get my hands on. It's not like everything is sold out necessarily, it's just that whatever is left is no longer the color that I want. And yes, I'm referring to bags. I have my eyes on the 22 bag. Whether it's a mini size or a small size, I still want the 22 bag, but I haven't been able to get one in the color that I want. So I'm still waiting. Hopefully next season, the price doesn't go up so quickly. Anyway, I still got my hands on some of my wishlist items. So I'm very, very happy about that. It was a long time coming because I've been waiting for these for like two years now. Wow. Yeah, I think it's been two years because I actually tried on these before and I didn't buy it at the time and now I'm buying them back and the price went up. Yes, sad story. But anyway, let's go ahead with the unboxing. Of course, you guys are very familiar with Chanel boxes and Chanel packaging. Is it my first unboxing of 2023 that is Chanel? I can't, I don't know. Is it? Has it been that long that I've bought something from Chanel? Oh my gosh. Anyway, as you can see, it is a pair of shoes and I've been waiting for these shoes. It comes with two nice dust bags, extra laces, the laces here. They have been unavailable, unavailable, always sold out, never in my size. So happy to be able to pick them up finally. <laughs> there you go. These are called the sports trailer, I think, sports trailer sneakers and, and they're just so gorgeous. So look at how beautiful they are and yes if you guys have seen my video where i talked about all the stuff that i sold last year there was a pair of chanel sneakers in that video they were also white with black trims and those ones were so cute except that they didn't fit me properly because even though i did size up already they were still too short for my feet which is so weird i i mean you guys know the struggle about how footwear especially designers their sizing is all over the place anyway if you're similar to me so apparently i just learned that i have egyptian style foot as i was doing some research online with my big toe as the longest toe i have maybe narrow to normal width these are perfect because these actually run a bit large i guess um, as the shoe is a bit longer in fact and so this I'm able to get them in my true to size, which is a 37 and a half, and they fit like a glove with, of course, space to spare for my toes to move around with my feet walking in them. I made sure to get the right size this time because I, I really like Chanel sneakers and look at how beautiful they are. Just the classic quilted uh, on the bottom here, neoprene material here. Yes, it's white, so it will get dirty. And then this part, feels like a it does feel like a plastic material i don't know what it is and then this part is a clear plastic as well 
or a clear rubber. Back here it says Chanel as well with a um, little pull tab here. All this and all this is neoprene and the laces are black so it has a nice black contrast on this beautiful classic pair of sport trailers. I love it and the only logo is right here aside from here. Um, this little CC in gold. So yeah, these are so comfortable. I love them. I am finally able to get them again in my life. Like I said, I missed out back in 2021 when they just came out. It was a weird time because it was the pandemic. At the time, you were not allowed to even put your own socks inside the footwear. They made you wear their socks and which are the very thin ones. So at the time, I thought that it was slipping off of my ankle because I thought that they were too big. And so I didn't take them even though I basically bought the same exact size that I tried at the time two years ago. Anyway, long story short, I've been waiting since to get them back and they're here now, but with a huge price increase. Those of you who are interested in Canada after tax, I paid close to $1,800 for these. Yeah, it's pretty steep. Of course, I didn't stop at one. There's another unboxing. I took out the ribbons already, so let's just do it. Yes, it is another pair of shoes. Comes with all the same goodies. Let me present to you guys. The black pair. <laughs> I know guys, when I love something, I just love to buy duplicates. At first, I wanted just the white pair. The black ones actually came in first, so I bought the black ones first. And then the white came a few days later. And of course, by then, I had to buy the white too because those were the ones that I originally wanted. Long story short, I ended up with both pairs. So these are just this exact same, same shoe, but in black color, which some people will prefer the black color because they don't get dirty as easily because they're just black. Um, but personally speaking, I, I like the white ones more because the white ones do show more of a contrast. Like these ones, they look classic for sure. Like especially from the side profile, it's so cute, beautiful, same shoe really, right? The same construction and everything. Um, but just from the front profile, they are a little bit more boring. So that is why black was not my first choice, but because they didn't have the white ones at first. I just ended up buying them anyway. And you guys know Chanel doesn't do refunds here in Canada. So, um, you know, in the end, I could have just exchanged them, but I think I would really have missed the black ones if I didn't just get the black and the white as well. So in the end, I decided to go with both. But which ones do you guys prefer? Looking at it like right now, like this. The white, right? For me, it's the white. The white pops. But I'm glad to get a black pair as well, especially for Vancouver weather. Once summer is over and we um, get into the colder weather, it's gonna start raining all the time. So black is a safer choice. It's easier to clean. Uh, really the only place that you need to clean is the, is probably the white part, right? And any dust that gets on the black part. I hope that you guys enjoyed my birthday haul part one. I don't know how many parts I'm gonna end up having. I know there's at least one or two more. So stay tuned. Uh, but yeah, a Chanel haul. I know, right? It's been such a long time. Chanel has been really expensive lately with all the price increases and lack of availability, especially if you don't have an essay that is helping you. It's really, really hard to get anything. But anytime I'm able to get something super classic, I know these will last a long time. They're so comfortable. Like I said, they can be travel shoes your everyday sports shoes and whatever. Um, and they're so stylish. Like for a sneaker, these are super stylish. I will be getting a lot of wear out of them. And so I'm just glad I'm able to get them even though it's so expensive now, but it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe because like I said, there's gonna be more birthday unboxings, yes. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys in the comment section. Bye.